Hello everyone, it's Bebop307 here and welcome back to yet another episode of the Birds of Paradise and I know I've been doing a lot of these episodes lately and that we haven't really seen much of our other niche tribes but I'm just so into this challenge right now. It's actually a lot of fun for me and I get really excited whenever I play it. But I am planning on doing a wolf pack challenge episode soon and then we'll probably pop by and say hello to our rabbit tribe and check in on how they're doing. But for now I'm going to go ahead and play more Birds of Paradise because I am seriously enjoying this series. I know we've had quite a bit of um drama in it thus far having to restart tribes and all but I'm having a lot of fun and you guys are actually giving me quite a few suggestions and I know you guys are talking about the fur and everything and I would have focused on that with the parents but I really wanted our babies to be able to collect so I feel like I made the right call and with them I focused a lot more on getting that runner leg in there with at least at least one for both baby however with their kiddos we're gonna have to see I will probably start trying to bring in the darker fur, so I've got no problem with trying to bring that in now. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and let's try to encourage some darker fur for both of our lovely little kiddos. Um, and they're also both like perfectly healthy, so I don't really have much to worry about otherwise. So we can start bringing in some of that lovely darker fur. And I know... You guys were sitting there and like, I know that's not beautiful, like, like the bright, pretty birds, and it's like, there are plenty of beautiful, like, dark colored birds with bright spots or just big, beautiful eyes. There are loads. Like, for example, I think of a raven, and what's really cool about them is that, I mean, their feathers are kind of iridescent sometimes. Like, when, I think the oils on the feathers reflect the light, uh, ref reflect the light in a really cool way that makes it seem as if there's tons of colors. So, it, really, it's a it's pretty interesting, and I've got no problem with our birdos being a bunch of little crows or whatever the heck, you know? Um, maybe with a few bright spots and definitely some brightly colored eyes. Maybe you have some, like, nice bright colored horns and stuff. Like, there are other ways for us to bring in some color, you know what I mean? Um, plus, some of our niche links might end up being toxic bodies, so you never know. But okay. Now that that's done, we only have 22 food, we have 4 nichelings, so that's a pretty good amount. Um, and we definitely want to take a sniff, and I think once our two babies are a little bit older, I'm going to start scooting them down this way. Because we have a lot of meat-eating plants over here, and maybe once we have some really strong clawed nichelings, I guess once you've destroyed a um, angry um, red man-eating plant a couple times, it'll grow back and it'll be green, so it'll be safe. And that is definitely a goal I'd like to get to at some point, but that's a little ways away. So for now, I think I'm just going to focus on setting up base around these smelly trees. And we do have a nest right here, so if we're very careful, we can have some, like, we have a couple nesting spots we can go to. There's actually a permanent nest somewhere over here, and I've only been a little hesitant about it because I wanted to stay by the smelly tree and we have three healing fruits nearby. So I think it might not be a bad idea for us to start clearing out this area as well. And at the moment we have um, pomegranate and Mamila and uh, Mamila is kind of taking care of the baby. She's making sure that we have food and pomegranate is trying to clear out the territory. And we'll probably want to like have a few select nesting spots like right, uh, right where Mamila is right now is a great one. We're by a healing fruit, we're in the grass, we're camouflaged, we're right by, uh, by, sorry, we're right by a sm uh, smelly fruit tree. So we have food, we have a healing fruit in case someone gets sick or bit by a leech. We're pretty good right where we are, so we're probably going to leave that grass spot. But over things like the mud pits and definitely the green plants and um, healing fruits and stuff, I want to reveal those. So we're going to try to work on that and then I think that maybe once these two are like fully grown, I might start scooting them this way anyway as they're younger. But um, I would like to set them both up around here. So we can... Oh, sorry for the on. Oh, had a lot to do today. <laughs> so we can um, go ahead and just set them up around here so we can start building the base a base over here and have more areas where we can collect up our food and definitely want to try and explore with pomegranate because he has two digging paws so whenever he finds root he gets us uh, roots when he gets it he gets us for food I'm stumbling over my words a lot today and I don't know why but that's okay 
That's okay. Maybe I'm more tired than I thought. I don't feel tired. Hmm. Well, ain't that odd. But alright, let's go ahead. And... Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's pass the turn. I'm really curious to see how our lovely little babies will do. And we will start working towards the darker furred nagelings because that is more camouflage and that can be really, really helpful. So let's go ahead, pass the turn. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, so first things first, I'm actually going to scoot little Fig over because I would like him to start making his way over that away. And I think... I might do the same with Willow. I'm actually going to have her come over here and roll in the mud, help disguise her scent. And these two can go ahead and breed. I'm going to have him do the breeding. And it might not be a horrible idea to go ahead and have him like lick the scent off as well so that we can improve on that. We're not going to have another baby just yet. We're going to focus on gathering up food and keeping our food stock high. And for now, I'm going to gently scoot pomegranate this way. So we can kind of start clearing out this area, and I just wanted them to breed so that whenever we're ready to have another baby, we can. And we have enough nesting material to do that, and he's been very helpful with collecting that. And right now, our lovely girl Willow and her brother Fig are heading over to this smelly fruit tree, and I'm hoping that by the time they're old enough, they will both be able to go ahead and, um, yeah, get some more food for us. Definitely need more areas to collect from, but okay, let's go ahead and let's pass the turn again. Day number 10. We are not doing too badly survival-wise, and I'm actually really excited to sit little Willow down here. Luckily, we can breathe up here, and worst case scenario, she can grab from this. However, her little brother is probably not going to be able to. So as much as I might want to move him, I'm going to go ahead and just keep Willow right over here. We're going to leave her little brother right here for now because I don't want to risk it. But we can probably... <gasps> hey! It's nice and green! Okay, so we have one red plant and we have a root over here. But we have two green ones, so this area is actually pretty safe. Which is freaking awesome. We do have this little bunch of brambles and stuff here, but we're going to ignore that. We probably won't set our nichelings on there because if they can stay in the water, they have all their tour turns, turns, and they stay cool and it really, you know, they'll be able to use all of their turns instead of only having two because of the heat. Um, we're going to go ahead and just have Mama Mimila collect up food again and see we're already getting a bit low on food and this is where I'm starting to get concerned. Oh! I'm actually going to go ahead and have him dig this up because he'll get us more food. And I'm going to have him collect that grass as well. And I think I'll have her collect the grass from this as well, just in case to get, uh, you know, just in case we can get some nesting material. But thank goodness we noticed that root right there because uh, he can get more of that. And I'm really excited for her to be able to get some food too. Oh, this is going to be nice. But okay, we're going to pass the turn again. And now that we're mostly situated in this little area right here. See, he's already too hot. That's why we want to be careful. But now that he's situated in this area for the most part, hmm. I'm really nervous about moving him. I know that those plants are green, but I don't want to sit him on a thing that makes noise. And I don't think he'd be tall enough to survive in the, in the water. So we're going to go ahead and leave that for now. But let's let Mamila grab up more plants. She is about to pass away, so I'm going to go ahead and have her in the next turn set down a nest, and we're going to reveal from this, and then we're going to start clearing out more nesting material over here so that we can build up back up, because uh, we definitely want to have as much as we can, like as much nesting material as we can possibly have on us at one time. This does mean, however, hmm, the baby is probably going to end up taking over this spot, whatever baby we have. And these two will probably stick over here. Hopefully we will run into some more nichelings. That would be really awesome. But okay, day 12, day 13. Hello there. Ah, it's too hot. But at the very least, Willow can collect up a lot of food for us. Mamila can't as well. And we're going to have her sit down the nest. They might be able to even have... <gasps> Ooh. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I think I might just send Fig over this way. He's about to grow up. 
I'm afraid of sitting him down on something that makes noise, though. But, oh gosh, I really am afraid of doing that. But I feel like he should be over here. Just so, so I can at least jump him over here and he can start digging for us. But we do have another baby that we get to look forward to and I'm really excited. Hopefully that did not get any apes attention. Hopefully. But let's go ahead and let's pass the turn and see what lovely little baby we get. Oh. Okay. Okay, she's going to be a nesting material type of baby. She's probably going to be, yep, she's kind of replacing pomegranate in that area. She is gorgeous. Um, I can't really see her do well, but I know she's gorgeous. <laughs> Here we go. EC. Uh, still having trouble. Pomegranate's really pretty, though. Just wanted to go and admire pomegranate. <laughs> But we have little EC right here, and she's almost exactly like her father. She does have big ears recessive, which is awesome, because it helps keep our creatures cool in the jungle, and uh, we're definitely going to want that at some point in the future. But let's go ahead and let's see. The first name that I see, Leek. Whoops, I just hit my mic. Whoopsie, sorry if you guys heard that. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and name her Leek, and I think we might even be able to have one more baby with Willow. Uh, sorry, not Willow, with um, Mila and her mate, Pomegranate. So I think what we're going to do, um, I don't know if they can breed while she's still in the nest. I don't think they can. So I'm just going to go ahead and have her, we're going to leave the nest there. It'll last a couple days, and for now we're just going to go ahead and grab this and grab as much food as we can. And I'm going to be careful about where we, um where we go really. I'm gonna go ahead and just clear out the nesting material. I don't want to go too far away from our lovely mom. Oh hey! Okay so we got two green, two red. Oh that is awesome to find out. I'm actually really happy about that. Let's go ahead and scoot Fig over here so he can not only dig but also collect some of the fruit for us. And Willow is doing great with this as well. Look at this, you guys. We have 32 food. We're definitely going to have another baby as soon as possible. We're probably going to try to end up with, like, maybe another, like, five creatures again for when they pass away. Seems like a good, solid number. Um, and I'm... Oh, goodness. I'm so excited. But uh, it looks like Willow and her brother Fig are definitely... I feel like Willow's a little more of a daredevil. She goes for it. She really wants to help, and she really wants to do what she can to help. And it's kind of interesting to see because her brother seems more like a follower. Like he'll, um, he'll definitely help, but he doesn't know exactly what to do. So he has to kind of have a little bit of, he needs a little extra guidance. But uh, I'm hoping that we run into another Nietzscheling soon so that we can have a safe pairing. That would be really, really nice. But if not, we're going to have to see. Um, we have B and D. B and D. What about EC? A and C. So, oh sorry, Leek. Um, worst case scenario, we will have another breeding pair, but hopefully we run into some new Nietzschelings so we can get some new genetics into the tribe. And I'm really excited about that, but let's go ahead. She has green eyes. Leek, you are a darling little girl, aren't you? That's so pretty. I love the green eyes. This is so pretty. Let's see. I'm just looking at the genetics. It might not be bad to try and bring in the stinky tail at some point. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to pass the turn. And let's gently move Little Leek aside. We're going to bring, let's see, we're going to bring Pomegranate down so he can breed with his mate. And she is now pregnant! So we're going to go ahead and we're going to send um, Pomegranate back up this way so he can continue working on collecting things. And we're going to have Mamila grab up as much food as she can so she can... Uh, you know, make sure her bib is nice and taken care of. And Mim Willow will do the same over here. I almost called her Mamila. And I'm going to gently send her brother Fig down this way so he can start gathering from this tree. And we're making some progress. We have a very good amount of food, and I am super happy about that. And we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're slowly exploring. We're not rushing too much. We're really trying to think and use our resources to our advantage. I am really excited. I feel like the second incarnation and or generation of the Birds of Paradise will do very well. I seriously hope I didn't just jinx that and I am so sorry if we get like five apes spawning in on us. I accept responsibility for that if I just jinxed us. 
we have another baby we get to look forward to. And I'm really excited. Hopefully it'll be another collector or maybe a double runner leg would be freaking awesome because then we have a main collector. It would be cool. Let's go ahead and let's pass the turn and see what our baby will be. <gasps> exactly what I hoped for! A double runner leg. Tarokir, you beautiful, beautiful baby you. And he's got beautiful green eyes. B and C immunity. Double runner leg. Dubber? Dubber. Dubber Debbie. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm stumbling over my words a lot today. What the heck? Um end set. End set? Why is that so cute? Okay, end set. That is really cute to me. I don't understand why that's adorable, but it is. So we have a little end set. Oh, that's so cute. That's seriously? That's really, really cute. But now that we've done that, we're definitely going to take some time to sniff around. At the very least, we do have a possible breeding uh, breeding pair. So I'm actually going to start scooting Leek down this way as well. And I don't want to scoot her up over there. Those are green. Okay. So she'd be safe, but I want to... Actually, I think I will. We're going to be very, very careful. Don't worry, guys. We're, we're taking it slow. We're being smart about this. I might want them to have just one more baby, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, they have two days. They have two days, so we'll see. But let's go ahead and let's gather up as much nesting material as we can possibly grab. I think this nest will last another day. I think. So I'm just going to have them collect for now. We're going to focus on the food. Our tribe is getting bigger. We really need to focus on all of the food. We're actually doing pretty well with that. I'm going to grab this, see if we can get nesting material. And I might... I, I'm going to leave Willow there. I'm going to leave Willow there. But uh, I'm going to have them breed again, I think. And, hmm. Yeah, I'll have them breed again. You guys told me that we don't really have to worry about birds too much. So it, our babies should be safe. So we're going to pass the turn. They only have one day left. We're going to scoot our little baby aside. And we're going to make sure that they have one last baby. What? Oh my. Well, our plans might have just changed. Hello, lovely. You just you just ate a healing fruit. Do you realize how rude that is? Okay. I'm going to have Mimila. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I love you. I love you. Okay, she's invited. Okay. We're going to scoot over here, we're still gonna have- ooh, I can get roots. We're gonna breed, breed, oh thank goodness, and have one more baby. We now have a lot of creatures, but two of them are about to pass away. <gasps> Izumi! She has C and J immunity. She can- she has a really rare immunity, you guys. Okay, so first things first, we are bringing her straight over to, um, to our friend over here. She has toxic body? And what is with this awesome pattern? She has mask? Oh my word! She also has claw, which is not a bad thing to start bringing in. So she has B? Sorry, not B and C. C and J. She has spots as well. No, no, no. These are small patterns. Sorry, I confuse them sometimes. Um, okay. So, not bad? Not bad. Alright! She's actually really, really pretty. Okay, let's take a sniff around. There is another bad plant over here, but we're going to focus. She's not too young, so we really want to focus on bringing her closer to our other Nichlings because she and um, and Fig are probably going to go ahead and have some bibbas. So I don't know what to do with all of these plants right here. She does have the claw, which means maybe she'll be able to go ahead and smackadoodle those plants before anything bad happens. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and sit her in the water and start scooting her around so she can meet Fig, whereas our lovely little lady right here, I'm going to go ahead and have her continue clearing out the area. We have Willow, who's focused on gathering up all of this stuff. Um, I'm going to keep her in the same spot, and Fig is helping us gather up food. We definitely need to focus on gathering food now that we have a new member. A very beautiful member, might I add. Let's take a look at you, little one. 
Oh, look, it's like she has mascara on. She's so pretty. Oh my goodness, let's give her a brand new name. We have Izmi. Let's rename her, and we're definitely going to try to breed and have some babies. Have some little babies. Hopefully we get the claw. I'm going to try and not encourage the digger paw, because we have plenty of Nietzsche's with the digger paw, so if we really want it, we can bring it back. But let's go ahead, um... Barbary. Hmm, Barbary or Honeysuckle or Slowberry. Goodness. Well, Honeysuckle was the first one that I saw, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to name her Honeysuckle because first name that I saw, and she's actually really cute. However, we do have some risks. She has extremely low fertility and really, like, she has really bad eyesight, and she has the, like, the risk of hemophilia, so we have to be careful with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this really quick. Let's see. We want perfect eyesight. Perfect eyesight, and then we want... Oh, I can't discourage hemophilia. Sorry about that, had a minor interruption, but um, I don't really know what else to encourage. I don't know, uh, we already are encouraging a darker fur color with her mate, and I don't know if I really want to... The thing is, I don't know how... I mean, if she gets... If... You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and let's look at the Gen X again. Huh, I really don't know. I don't know what I want to add into her her genes. I really don't. Um, I mean, let's see. We haven't performed any attack, so it might not be a bad idea maybe to try and go fishing or maybe to even attack these plants just to get a little bit of, just to work on the attack. I think I'm just going to encourage black fur because if we don't get toxic body, it would be nice to have a higher chance of a baby with some better camouflage. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And are right, you guys, I was, I was going to pass the turn, but I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it so that way in this episode, Pomegranate and his mate Mamelia are still, Mamelia, sorry, Mamelia are still with us. We have a brand new Nietzscheling and some really interesting stuff going on. I'm really excited to see the babies. I'm insanely excited. It's gonna be, they're gonna be pretty, okay? <laughs> I just have a feeling they're gonna be really gorgeous and she has the mask. Oh, she's gonna be bringing the mask back to our tribe. She's bringing the mask back to our tribe. This is great. I am excited. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I will be, um, I want to thank you all for watching. Goodness, my brain's so scattered. But I gotta be popping on out of here, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!